Captain Falcon can one hit kill, you know, yeah. Fox. Yeah. But it's very difficult to do so and you need to win neutral. So uh, there's like this really, really high execution barrier along with, you know, losing neutral. Yeah. Which is losing really neutral tough. hard. Uh, yeah, yeah. Losing it in the worst ways. Yeah, honestly. this is not a. Uh, you know, I, I lost neutral to a Pikachu. Uh, you lose neutral to a Fox, and he'll just shine you off the stage and edge guard you. Yeah. So I'm kind of looking to see uh, Flex do a lot of dash dance grabbing. Although I've I've been seeing him try to wall more lately. Yeah. Um, it's a good example. Yeah, but in those kinds of situations, you have to realize that Fox has left the ground and is coming towards you, and you need to double jump up here to cover yeah. yourself. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Uh, I think actually uh, up air is Falcon's strongest tool against Fox. It's a good move. Yep. Instant up air uh, on leaving the ground is a frame faster than air and reaches ever so slightly farther. Yep. Um, so it's really, really good for swatting uh, Fox's approaches if you space it well. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. He's a little bit. Yeah, Flex is kind of getting run over. He needs to he needs to stop S Fop with a punish or something. So now you've se you've seen Fox react to your uh, jump, short hop, uh, down air. The next time what you do is you short hop and you don't down air and you just grab it. Because he reacted with a, a spot dodge, so uh, you're never gonna hit him with that down air, but you absolutely will hit him with that grab uh, because of the way the timing works out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and attempts the shield drop and misses it. You know, another thing, too, oh. uh, the way that Flux opened this, uh, he finally got s -pop off the stage, and he didn't cover side B on the stage. That is the first option you cover every single time. You for force your opponent to not use that option. Mm -hmm. I honestly think what Flux needs to be doing more is dashing forward and grabbing. Because s -pop is playing very disrespectfully in s oh, inside Captain Falcon's... Uh, dash forward grab range, yeah. and you'll see him even wait inside that range. Yeah. And if Fox is waiting inside that range, you have to go get him. Yeah. He's just asking for it at that point. Yeah, especially with uh, Fox's pressure, kind of, uh, you know, my thoughts on the Falco or Falcon-Fox matchup is just wait for the shine and grab him. I mean, you kind of have to do it a little bit before, um, but you never want to try to beat him between his aerial and his shine. You want to beat him after the shine. Uh, whereas it's the opposite with like Falco, you want to beat him after, mm -hmm. or uh, yeah, after the aerial, but before the shine. Um, so you know, like, oh, the jacket's coming off. Oh dear, he's powering up. He said, "I'm not getting oh! again." Did you see Esfop tried to grime him? Is it is it grime? No, it's not grime. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't consider that. I think taking your jacket off is grime. No, dude. Whenever I'm getting comboed, I'm just gonna start taking off my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make everybody an, who an keeps hitting me late. until the stops. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, you know, again, obviously this is Falcon's hardest matchup, uh, or at least one of the hardest. If a lot of people will consider like Falco or uh, sometimes even Peach. Uh, I think that's definitely she, not true. Yeah, uh, oh? Yeah, that's a good grab, but. Nice reaction. Nice. nice. That's perfect. Kind of questionable for SFOP to uh, up B out there. Side B for sure. <coughs> Especially knowing that uh, he didn't cover it the first time. Yeah. You can't keep getting double shine like that. How would you suggest avoiding double shine? Actually, the best way is to avoid the fox. Uh, <laughs> if he's just walking up to you like that on the ledge, near the ledge, just jump up to the platform and get out of there. Because mm -hmm. you don't you don't want to take a shine like that. I mean, your recovery is so easy for him to take advantage of. Yeah, full hop is really good, too, to yep. get out of the corner. Yeah, just wave land on the platform, go behind him, fall down with the back air, which is pretty safe, you know? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of options there, but... Uh, oh! Uh, you fool. Oh, my gosh. You got to grab that ledge, man. I don't think he had time. Uh, I think it would have grabbed. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's debatable, but... Um, yeah, that was good. All right. You didn't even cover neutral deck. See, that's the thing. So you did, a, you did something to cover something, and it didn't even cover the thing. The problem is that he didn't dash wave dash to the position where okay. Fox was going to land. It yeah, it was uh, too fast. It he just jumped, right? Uh, well, he just got sort of watched. When yeah. you throw Fox, when yeah. you're trying to do re reaction tech chasing or setting yourself up for reacting, then you have to dash wave dash to the spot where Fox lands. Otherwise, oh, you can't oh, cover all the stuff. Yeah, and uh, crouch cancel to get up attack. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or jab, right? If um, well, jab resets don't work against good players a lot of the time. Well, the thing is, but I, it I, can. I agree with you that for the most part, they'll be able to buffer roll out. Um, but 
you know, that's that's part of the game. Like you, you need to start doing that so you can see in which direction they are buffer rolling and then cover that. Yeah, he's just going to shine across it's the It's worth trying until your opponent shows you that it won't work. I agree. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, as Falcon, the number one things to cover... Oh, my gosh. Oh no. Triple shine grab. That was so sick. Away. Yeah. Uh, as Falcon, the uh, number one things that you want to cover, especially in the beginning of the game, is neutral tech. Once you get them to where they're afraid to neutral oh. tech, because you're covering roll in and neutral tech and uh, no tech, mm -hmm. then you're basically put into the position where you're guessing... Uh, are they going to roll away or are they going to roll behind me based on my movement? Um, so unless you're playing that game with your Fox opponent, he's going to run over you with pressure. Yeah, uh, he's also going to run you over with pressure if you're not rolling properly. Yeah. There really was there really weren't any, like, rolls. Yeah, there's not a lot, yeah. yeah. I mean, Falcon's roll is so good compared to his <laughs> out-of-shield option. <laughs> yeah, it really <laughs> That it's like, you know, a lot of people say, oh, don't, don't roll, blah, blah, blah. What? <laughs> Dude, you're crazy. <laughs> Triple shine that shine off the stage to kill him? That's crazy. That's cra That's crazy. <laughs> I liked the I liked the up smash read <laughs> add to end game one. Yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was sick. Well, I mean, those All were right. cool, but they weren't like I don't know. I feel like reads are better. <laughs> reads are cooler. <laughs> Triple shine grab was cooler. Yeah, those were the cool things. I just named one out of the highlights. many. Those are my highlights. Um, that's as much as your ego's getting. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, trying to good. say. I was trying to remember what I was saying. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, Falcon's roll is so good. Yeah, if Fox is roll. like yeah. moving towards you, there's a bunch of things that you can do to get away. You can either wait until he's like hit your shield to roll away, but uh, that opens you up to a little meta game where instead of standing there and continuing to pressure your shield, uh, they'll wait and uh, they'll wait for you to roll. They'll just do like nair and then wait for you to roll and then they'll chase your.